Oh, As we walk up yes, yes. and go over to Miss Lori, mm -hmm. I understand that because I do tell my husband, I said, are these clean or dirty? I can't tell. Did you wash them before you put them in the dishwasher? Oh. I never pre-wash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I they never. are Lori's never. Like, Lori's like, that defeats the purpose. If, I, if the dishwasher can't get it done without the pre-wash, then you know my philosophy is get a better dishwasher, use better detergent. Mm. <laughs> so, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hate the pre-wash. And I also make sure that I buy cookware that can go in the dishwasher too. Yeah, so it's you know, and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of kitchen equipment that, uh, you know, really shouldn't go in the dishwasher yeah. and it's too expensive. So I, I do my research and make sure that I'm buying stuff that's dishwasher safe. There always. you go. Yeah. So you put baked potatoes in the dishwasher. I did. Look at break. this. So this is just a hack. I haven't ran it yet, but you know, you got them. So we're thinking Thanksgiving, right? Yes, you've right, got, yes. you've got 20 pounds of potatoes because your cousins, your aunts, everyone's coming over. <laughs> All right. So top rack, fill it up. Five minutes, no detergent, and you have saved yourself some time. Because I did just these few potatoes here by hand. Okay. Yes. And to wash them properly really does does take almost almost a minute of potato if you're using jumbo bakers. So oh. let's talk about the fact that when you do buy potatoes at the grocery store, they have um, earth on them, dirt. Ah, yes. Okay. The reason that that happens, this is on purpose. All right. A lot of your produce. There's a there's a wash step before it's packed. Right. Yes. All right. You can probably tell when you're when you're buying things like apples, for instance, there's there's like none of that naturally occurring clay that mm -hmm. you might see if you ever go to an apple orchard when the apples are on the tree. Mm -hmm. Potatoes, they on purpose have a little bit of that earth or dirt on them when they're packed and that helps with the shelf life. Oh, cool. So you're really not supposed to, when we talk about things to like save time uh, for batch cooking or Thanksgiving cooking, Washing your potatoes in advance really isn't, that's not the time saver we suggest. Mm. All right, because the, the minute you wash this and take the dirt off of it, mm -hmm. your potatoes immediately start breaking yeah. down. Oh. All right, so don't take, that's not the shortcut. I'm going to show you a few others, but all right, what should we start with? We've got some potatoes here. So these potatoes here, I cooked, mm. I'm going to show everyone how to make mashed potatoes, right? Like yes. if you're not serving mashed potatoes, get out of America. Oh, <laughs> all right, yeah. <laughs> potatoes in my opinion like that is the like epitome one of the key right. sides right yeah. and so today i'm using also the epitome of potatoes america's fa famous potato the world's famous potato an idaho russet potato oh, wow. all right and you can use any of the potatoes you'd like all right that just okay. changes the texture so these idaho russets you'll see they're almost creamy in the pot already mm -hmm. i cooked them with one container of chicken stock all right okay. and you just let it cook down slowly now i'm going to show everyone at home a few different ways where you can mash it so this is probably the most classic way you get what's called a potato masher mm -hmm. and you have at it all right and that will get you That'll get you that consistency. If you okay. don't have one of these tools, they're a total pain in the butt to store. Like it all, the drawer always gets caught on this thing. Oh, yep. Do you have one? Yep. It always yeah. gets caught, yeah. yes. Um, all right, here's a hack. That Where did I put the mug and this? All right, and this is also kind of fun for kids, right? Yeah. So you take your coffee mug and you smash oh. it down. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then you just this. use a fork to get it out. And that will... You will get the perfectly yeah, yeah. Uh, perfect you know, texture. Personal right there. Yeah. <laughs> perfect texture mashed potato. All right, now this is how I make mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving morning. Mm -hmm. I am all about one pot in the dishwasher. I I just nobody's got time for washing dishes. So, <laughs> like I said, I cook these in, with chicken stock. I'm going to add the heavy cream. Okay. All right. If this were Thanksgiving morning, I'd let this simmer a little bit longer. Okay. I'm going to do about a half a stick of butter here. Thought that was cold. It's room temp. <laughs> All right. Boom. There you go. All right. And then this, you would melt this down. Okay. So let that cook. And then you would just take your hand mixer okay. and mix it up. Mm -hmm. Randall, I got the hand mixer oh, over there it. if you oh, want to yeah. go after it. Oh, yes, I All do. All right. Yeah. Now, here's a tip. I've got the baking powder here. And you might not know this tip, I don't but think this I've is a, this. oh goodness. Oh gosh, I'm messing stuff uh, up already. Here we go. <laughs> so this there is a go. really fun tip. You add a little bit of baking powder to get that perfect fluffy mashed potato and it does not change. Okay. Oh, All right, so that put is it on low. You don't, what you don't want is for it okay. to Make sure you're on, spray on the right up. setting. Yeah, you don't want to spray up on you. Oh, oh there we go. There, it kind of spray up. All right. <laughs> Let's go. So see how you just, it'll just mix up like this and you can, it'll get nice and fluffy mm -hmm. as we go and incorporate I don't, I don't that. 
that. I don't think she trusts you. She's she so didn't trust her head. You got it. No, she's got training. It. She's training me. That's all. That's you all. You got it. Here we go. You got it. Now, now, how much do I need to do right here? You can just keep going. Okay. But if we have time, I want to show the hack on how to peel the potato easy. Okay. Yes. Do we have time? I think we have time. Maybe just a little bit. All right. Okay, Lori, one Won't minute. take me long. Okay. So these potatoes, the you'll board. notice they have the skin on. And I did what's called, I, I sliced it around the... Tater equator. So I'll show you all that tater stuff real quick. Equator. The tater <laughs> equator. Such a thing. All right. So you find the middle of the potato, and you just take your paring knife and you do a very slice, a very shallow slice okay. all the way around. And then you put them in the water. And then you put them in the water. All and right. When they're done, they should come off. Yep. Oh, so and then when they're waiting. done, and let me see if these are. Yeah, these are these are close. Okay. All right. Oh shoot. Okay, that was hot. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> All right. And then, once it kind of cools, see how it just peels right off? Mm -hmm. The skin? Oh, oh nice. nice. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Another time-saving hack, because you know how time-intensive it is. Oh, yeah. To That's stand right. over your sink, you've got potato peel going everywhere. we got potatoes everywhere, <laughs> folks. And potatoes coming up, we've got, I've got, have you ever heard, you like mashed potatoes with gravy or without? Both. Both. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have the most delicious gravy that's 100% oh. vegetables and we're going to serve it up and it's got some pears in it too. Boom, oh. George. Yeah. Boom. Look. I feel like that you deserves see, see the, a song. You see the